Let's look at the people who are trying to do best for society and just oppose them. I'm sure that's not their intent, but that is exactly what they do. Almost isn't required for falsehood. Based. Censorship isn't required for falsehood. Self-censorship and, and, and just the culture. And exactly, uh, uh, you know, the, the more details, easier to sue because then you can say, nope, I didn't do that. But so they just say, oh, something went wrong. You cross the community guideline and, and that's it. And you get, you know, you get your, your strikes. And then if you're, you're banned from uh, YouTube, then you could try to make it on uh, Rumble. But like I was saying in, the, uh, in the, the, the member stream, if you don't already have a following, nobody is watching, is uh, uh, browsing. On Rumble. Uh, Zippy says, communism guidelines. Yep, that's exactly, they are dictators. That's exactly what they are doing. Because most people are able to sort that out for themselves. I think the fear isn't that people believe what's false. It's that they might actually believe what's true. They'll censor whatever is a threat to their agenda. Yeah. Yep. So what do you think that agenda is? Um, You know what? I, I'll be honest. I don't think they fully know. I think <laughs> I think I'm with you on that. <laughs> so am I. So am I. They don't know. They're just trying to uh, uh, push back against the values that we have. They don't have values of their own. They're just anti what we like, and what we like is values that create a a, a stable society that can grow and flourish. I don't know if they they really know that that is exactly what they're doing. That they're just saying, you know, let's look at the people who are trying to do best for society and just oppose them. I'm sure that's not their intent, but that is exactly what they do. Your dad says they censor the truth, but keep propaganda. That's the way to run a country and make people stupid. I think that they just envision some kind of society mm -hmm. where everyone is just c confused and it's just chaotic and there's a couple of people who are making all the decisions and running everything mm -hmm. and everyone else is just kind of robotic and um i don't think they actually have a plan for what comes after that if they achieve what they want they're like they're they're, they're like a dog chasing after a car they have no idea what they would ever even do if they caught the car there's ooh. That's it. That's the depth that you get. You either that, that's the depth you get or you have the malicious people who are pushing this this uh, uh, confusion, who are purposely trying to make it so that people are dogs chasing after a car with no idea what to do. That is not an accident. Zippy says communists and bureaucrats have values. Uh, it's just they are bad ones. Fair enough. But the the uh, uh, the average NPC that we see. The, the average NPC that we hear from, specifically like on uh, uh, Libs of TikTok, they're not like actual uh, uh, communists. They're actual, uh, they, they don't actually follow this ideology. They just use buzzwords and, 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 and throw enough at you to make it kind of make sense. But they're the, the post-truth people as well. There is no truth but power. So as long as I'm not in power, then I'm a victim and I am entitled to everything ev uh, all everywhere. And as long as you are different than me, then you have more power than me. Therefore, I win. What? Yup. Most of my media said some want chaos and some want rule over the rubbles of the aftermath. Well said. Well said. And what they have in common is that either way, they've got to tear down the hierarchy, the structure that we have now. Because the hierarchy and the structure that we have now is based on Merit is based on capitalism, is based on the family unit, is a uh, community. All of these same values that keep coming up, whether or not you believe in a god or gods, those are the values that have kept us all uh, uh, together, that has kept this country what it is. And and we've lost that. We've lost that. I, I do see a resurgence. I do see it coming back. What do you want, Morty? What are you doing? Uh, Zippy says they are bureaucratic. The system can do no wrong as long as it's our system. Yep. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Mountain my media, nuclear family, Western values. I mean, it's, it's, uh, 
I hesitate at, at the Western values part because if we're talking about Western values from, uh, you know, even the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, then yes. But what has become Western values is kind of moving away from the nuclear family. And so if you want to talk about classical liberal values, if you want to talk about enlightenment values, then we have a context to, to uh, uh, see where the Western values are the values that are in the West of being independent and uh, don't need no man and, you know, simping and all, all of that stuff is part of the culture. It is part of the values now, which is not a good thing, which is why we need to uh, change it. <laughs> Two dad attacks said, I'd rather move to USB <laughs> than USA. Nah, USA all day, all day, no matter how bad it gets here. Never forget that it's worse virtually everywhere else. Uh, Zippy says, Western values, don't you, you mean don't question the system, the system peasant? That's that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, not modern, uh, uh, modern, you would not call modern values, uh, Western, but they, that's, that's what they're, we only people in the West are espousing and living by these, these modern values. So that's, that's, uh, 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 yeah, I, I mean, Liz, liberalism is, uh, uh, Western values. I agree, but the, the, the interpretation of that and how far that's gone to the, 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 the individual that it's kind of wrapped around to the collective, it's it's not classical liberalism. It's it's moving away from that. And it's only Western countries that are doing that. I think that's an interesting observation, right? Because if you think about like, what is that agenda? And it does seem kind of incoherent because at least if you knew what the agenda was. I got to say, I got to say points for uh, writing stuff down. If you don't have, when you're having important conversations, if you don't have, you know, your notepad open to take notes or, uh, uh, you know, a pen and paper, then it doesn't mean that you can't have a good interview. But it certainly, it certainly shows a much higher level of interest in what is it that you're actually saying if you're you're taking notes so that you can pick apart other pieces of the uh, uh, the conversation and and all that stuff. Because that's, you know, and again, that's what we're doing here. We're looking for little signs of how does Vivek run the show? That is what tonight is all about. Shout out to Lefty Lucy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. So Western values equal conforming to the Calgary plan. I'm not familiar. What is the Calgary plan? Uh, it's a far right anti-Semitic white G side conspiracy theory. Uh... We'll go a little bit further, but I, I don't think that this is endemic of the West. As bad as things are getting, I think this is the complete opposite. This is what the left is saying is what's wrong with the West. Um, the theory claims that Austrian-Japanese politician uh, Richie uh, concocted a, a plot to mix white Europeans. Um, where did I go? God damn it. Uh, white Europeans with other races via immigration. The conspiracy theory is most often associated with European groups and parties, but is spread to North American politics. Uh, conspiracy stems from a section of his book, uh, Practical Idealism, which he predicted that a mixed uh, race of the future would arise. The man of the future would be mixed race. Today's races and classes will gradually disappear, uh, owing the vanishing of space, time, and prejudice. Okay. So I think I see, I think I see, so you're saying that uh, uh, this is a bad thing, right? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Because if you're saying we're moving towards uh, uh, this type of thing, that we, uh, you know, we have to erase all culture and it just becomes a blob of, you know, we're all the same and, and, and whatever, then I kind of, I, I, I'm kind of there with you. But this is pretty extreme if, if that's not where you're going with it. Uh, Mel Demi said the overcooked melting pot theory. I like that. I like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dude at Tech says I remember that school district that thought um the that thought don't the don't tread on me flag represented slavery. Yeah, like who who told you that's what it means? Nobody, nobody told them that. It's just like uh I think I see people who disagree with me where flying that flag, so it must be a bad thing. Yeah, uh, uh, shout out to Melted by Media. We, he and I, uh, uh, cover that in our, um, in our uh, TikTok uh, review, and just crazy, just crazy. They're like, and and shout out to that kid who sat there and was like, "Yeah, you're just wrong, you're just wrong," 
and shout out to the parents who backed up their kid. Uh, Zippy says that sounds like a good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned xenophobia and worshiping of the group. Our group best. Do not question. One of us. One of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Who told you that it meant uh, uh, slavery? Uh, they give out prizes for it every year. Well, certainly multiculturalism kills diversity, but the the again, this could go. Uh, you, you're not really you're not really answering my question. So, are you saying this is a good thing or a bad thing? Because if you're saying it's a good thing, then that's a very different conversation than if you're saying it's a bad thing. But I think you're right. I think it is actually disorder. Yeah, exactly. It's not that they're trying to enforce one orthodoxy. I don't think they particularly care. Nope. It's just, and we, hey, they have this, and we need to get rid of it. We need to get rid of it. Okay, so Lucy's saying it's bad. Okay, so then we're on the same page. So if, uh, uh, so what do you mean by their, uh, uh, their, they give out prizes for it every year? Um, and then with multiculturalism uh, kills diversity, I think the the it depends on uh, you know how how strong of a focus when we put uh, when we put uh, multiculturalism at the forefront, then it's going to kill diversity because it's going to uh, homogenize the the group. We want diversity of thought, diversity of culture, not just diversity of colors, but diversity in general is not a bad thing. It's just that the way they use diversity with like DEI means diff, uh, uh, diversity of um, places. Um, uh, oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, we're all on the same page. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the racial hierarchy any more than they do to the sexual indoctrination, any more than they do to the climate cult or religion, <laughs> nope. any more than they do about Ukraine. Yeah. It's just, broadly speaking, a form of chaos and disorder. It's a it's a direct uh, uh, refut refutation of the notion that America is a great country that uh, 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 classical liberal values are good, the fact that this uh, that we want a melting pot, all of those things, it's a rejection of that. In the same way that I'm an atheist, so I reject the claim that there is a, a, a God. I don't believe that there is no God. I don't believe that there is a God. I'm saying I don't know. So I am uh, uh, not taking a position on that. And so are uh, so with the, 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 the woke leftists, they're saying, we don't have a position. We're just not for what you are. It's 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 childish, really. Uh, Lisa says the prize is for rich people who help the uh, cal calorie plan uh, the most, i.e. help immigration and promote displacement. Yep, that's right into uh, DEI. Is it calorie G or calorie D? Zippy says multiculturalism is not a problem. If your rules respect the individual, but the West never respected the individual. Uh, don't blame the fish dying when you're taking it out of the water. Yeah, yeah. So the the that, that's exactly what I was saying, is that it, when multiculturalism comes before the the rights of the individual, then that's when you're, you're uh, uh, when you got what uh, Lucy is saying, that it kills diversity. But as long as we maintain, as long as we maintain that the individual is the, the, the ultimate, uh, um, the ultimate, the, the, the core of, of where these values, not the group that yes, we want to, we want individuals to come together, but we don't want to force, we don't want to force that because we want it to be organic in the same way that they're forcing the changing of language, which should be organic. If you are, uh, 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 talking about something in an appropriate way, then the language will evolve organically you don't have to wag your finger at people and, and talk about pronouns and da, 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 da. thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed that clip check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every monday wednesday friday 8 p.m eastern see you there